Hey guys, Alec Pierce Scuba, Vintage Scuba. Now, uh, this is not so much about uh, Vintage Scuba as it is about me going scuba diving and uh, Ke uh, Diana and Kevin. That's a small group of divers. Kevin counts as three. Uh, <laughs> now, we have about 10 divers. We're going to South Africa and we're going to dive with the sharks. And now, this is where being a vintage diver comes in really handy because there's no way we're going to be diving with the, uh, the, the great whites, you know, the big ones with the teeth. And uh, then we're going to be diving with the uh, tiger sharks. The long ones with the teeth and, uh, and there's no way I'm going diving with the sharks as before anytime without my Farallon shark dart. You might dive back for sure. Now I feel sorry for you divers, you newer, younger, <laughs> you newer divers who uh, no longer, you don't have shark darts. So I don't know what you do when there's a shark down there bugging you. I guess you take your puny little dive tool with a two-inch blade on it, not like my shark. And I don't know what you do about sharks. Well, actually, I'm kidding a whole lot. You know that sharks are uh, not a problem for scuba divers. You know that, and I know that. I wish the general public knew that. But anyway, let me tell you about my Farallon shark dart and why I would have at one time considered taking it because the shark dart was the most effective shark deterrent there was. Technically, it's not a shark deterrent. It's a shark killer. <laughs> But anyway, all kinds of things were tried. The U.S. Navy tried dye. They tried different colors. They tried noise, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Sylvia Earle and uh, other divers uh, produced a chainmail suit. A uh, suit made of chainmail, just like back in medieval ages. So if the shark bit them and they, they to test it, they had sharks bite them. They made the sharks bite them. I'm not sure how that worked. Uh, but the chainmail suit, you know, it wasn't perfect. Very heavy, hard to dive in, and, uh, and the sharks bit through it thousands of pounds of pressure and actually bit through so it wasn't perfect either and all kinds of things have been tried bang sticks even bang sticks you can be very careful with a bang stick i have a bang stick maybe i'll show it to you a bang stick i don't know if you know what that is but it's a stick and on the end of it has a cartridge could be 357 could be a 308 12 gauge a cartridge real cartridge and when you hit the animal with it the the, the cartridge goes off and blasts through the animal sounds good huh uh, with a shark, you got to hit him right in the head, top of the head. You got to basically kill him right in the brain in a single shot. If you hit him in the body, the tail, the fin, now you got a real problem because the bang stick is gone. It takes several minutes to reload it. The shark is wounded, not dead, and angry. Think about it. But anyway, the shark dart, however, was very, very effective. Let me explain about the shark dart. This is the full shark dart kit. You could buy just the dart itself little handheld dart. I was never a big fan of anything handheld that you would use against sharks. So I liked the kit. With the kit, you see, you could stay four or five, six feet away from the shark, which I always, I don't know what you guys uh, think out there, but I always thought that staying four or five or six feet away from the shark was a pretty good deal. I thought that was a good idea. I didn't want to get close enough that I could stick something into the shark. There it is. The Farallon shark dart, loaded. Ready to go. Are you ready, Gavin? All loaded. It's just that simple. What is it exactly? Well, it's a neat firing mechanism in here. And on the end of the firing mechanism, you put a CO2 cartridge. Here it is right here. A CO2 cartridge. Just like this one. See, it goes in there like so. Snugs in there firmly. There's an O-ring seal. Put in there nicely. There's a cap goes on the end of it. And that's all there is to it. At this end of the shark dart, there's a long stainless steel hypodermic. Can you see the hole there, Kevin? It's hollow, and the point is extremely sharp. I've noticed this first. I don't know how to do it, but they're sharp. Those are really sharp. It's like a pin, Kevin, really, really sharp. And when you decide, that's it, I've had enough of you, Mr. Shark, all you do is you pull the safety, this orange thing, pull the safety off like so, and you jam this into the shark as hard as you can. Now, with that sharp, sharp point, it would penetrate a shark's hide, which is already one of the problems. The sharks are very, very tough, like a piece of plywood. But this is actually penetrate the shark side, go right inside the shark, and when you know the skin or the friction of the body reach, the, pardon me, the stopper here, it would pierce the CO2 cartridge, and then all the gas in that CO2 cartridge would blast through the hypodermic needle and into the body of the shark. Now it's still better if you got him in the head or the upper part of the body, always better. But even if you got him in the lower part of the body, that much gas blasting through the shark into his body would explode the shark, give him a massive headache, massive gas embolism. Give me a sec, let me get a 
mm, coaster here. We should have had this earlier, Kev. I think I can actually show the divers how this works. How about that? Did we show them before how the handheld one worked? Yes. So here it is. Now you could use this as a prod, but you could also use it as a spear like this. You could grab the rubber and use it as a hand spear at the shark. I would be a little bit afraid of that maybe because if you miss, uh-oh, shark's still coming and your shark darts over there. But anyway, I'd be inclined to hang on to it. If he got too close and ugly, then I would stab him. And this is what happens. Are you ready for this? You can tell your friends now that you saw a shark dart go off. Maybe. It'll blast hard in a minute. Sometimes it just takes a second for it to go. Anyway, there's gas coming out of there. Cold and a lot of gas. That wasn't expo as explosive as the other one, eh, Kev? Yeah. Oop, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Not a very good cartridge, that one. These are old cartridges, too. Anyway, that's the idea. So you can see the gas pouring out of the needle there, and that's inside the shark. Okay? Uh, he's going to swim away. He may not be dead, but he's not going to come back. He doesn't want any more of that. So there you go. My shark dart kit. Okay, Kev? I'm all ready for South Africa. I'm going to get some new cartridges. Okay? All set to go. Okay, guys. I hope that was interesting. The famous Farallon shark dart. We're keeping sharks away. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce.